All right, so you have to first download the app, any font, which looks like this. And after you've downloaded the any font app, I've already downloaded it so I can just open it. You can actually use the app itself. I'm sorry, I clicked out of it. You can actually use the app itself now. The add button. And then um, right from there, you can go to define. Once you've downloaded it, and let's just get this font right here. So I'm gonna download it. It says I'm finished downloading. Download it. All right, so there it is. So now I'm gonna hit install. All right, so from there, you go to your settings. And in general, you're gonna go to profile and it'll be any fonts that you choose. So if I were you, I would download all the fonts I want first so that you don't have to keep doing this step. You would then download this one by hitting install. And of course you would put your own pen in. Hit next, then hit install. And then hit install again. Now you're done. That font should be there. So in order to find out if it's there, I will go to my design space. make sure I'm in the all fonts or system fonts because if it's just in Cricut you won't be able to see the ones you downloaded and I think it was called rabbit yep yellow rabbit and there it is okay and that's the process for any font that you want to download from the font or I didn't even play around with the other um, ones that they have but I'm pretty sure some of those charts so I wouldn't use them.